What's up guys? It's your boy Suplex Network here, coming back at you again for another video. And today, we're going to be looking at how a professional wrestling ring is made. So let's jump into the ring and let's have a look at it. Don't be fooled, you may see on the internet that wrestling rings have a bounce to it. They do, but there's not that much to it. It doesn't really, it's not like a trampoline. You don't spring back up after you hit it. It's still solid wood. We're gonna take a look under the canvas and we're gonna look closer at what the ring is actually made of. But I'm just gonna show you a few bumps and I'll show you the round here. Don't be fooled by all the high spots and the hard bumps. Those bumps definitely do hurt and it takes a lot of muscle memory and training to be able to not feel it as bad. It still, of course, hurts because it is solid wood, which I will get to, but let's look at the turnbuckles first. So coming out here, looking at the turnbuckles, you can see there's a bit of cobwebs on them. It needs a bit of a clean up, but looking at this, this is a foam pad in there with a shoelace tying it together over a turnbuckle here which is holding this cable. It is just, I'll show you, there's a better opening up there. There's a cable wrapped in this piping. It's like a hose pipe. Got some good, good strength to it. When you hit it the first few times, it will leave a mark on the back of your, the back of your chair, like your, it will leave a mark on your back. So it takes a bit to get used to hitting these ropes. It will leave a red bruising on your back. So you can see here, the turnbuckles attached to this pole. It is steel, it is metal, it's real metal. Still hurts if you get hit. If you hit this, you hit this, it will hurt. Good thing these paddings are a bit of a cushion, so when you hit the, hit the corners correctly, it will not hurt. But yeah, that is the basis of it. You should learn how to do everything correctly to make sure you are safe. So when you hit the corner, when you hit the buckles, you will not do your lower back out. That's the most important thing, not doing your lower back out, hitting these, the middle turnbuckle here. So you can see just a foam padding in this, this leather material here, tied together with a shoelace tie here underneath there. So let's go across and we'll move down and we'll look underneath the ring. So you see, as you can see on this side, you can see there's green hanging over. That is carpet underlay. Not all rings have it. We do just for a little extra padding because it was hurting quite a bit without it on there. So if you look here, this canvas, the black, which is on top, that is the canvas. It's pretty much just uh, a like no padding on that. That's just like, it's like the t-shirt the for a wrestling ring. It's just to make it look nice and fancy. That is just held down, goes all the way around all four sides and it's tied together. Just got this zigzag pattern here holding that together. Then under that, the next layer is this carpet underlay. Again, not really any th like thickness to that, but it's a bit of extra cushioning when you're bumping in the ring to make it not hurt as much. And then you got this foam piece here, right there, you can see it's a bit thicker. It's a very sturdy, so it's like, I mean, it's a cushion, but it still definitely hurts hitting that. It's not overly protective, as you'll see. And then under that is these thick-ass wooden planks. They go across, all the way across, and there's like several across the side there. It's just these long bits of wood there, and then metal beams. And you can see here, there are some straps going across to the other side. And from here to here keeping the ring, keeping the posts straight so they don't pull in from these these ropes, pull it in and these bottom cables pull the corners out to keep these nice and straight in the, the posts here. So we have a nice flush ring, you can kind of see underneath there all the cable work, see all the wood, see these metal beams down the side, That's kind of gives it a little bit of little bit of bounce when these wooden boards hit the metal so it has a little bit of spring that's pretty much what protects you rather than this foam the foam doesn't really protect you as much compared to, to the bounce you get 
in the middle of the ring of course is the most safest because it bounces a lot more in the middle compared to the sides this is why this is the stiffest this is why not many people bump here and when you do you gotta feel a bit of pain for them because it is stiff there just metal beams going straight across here so that is the stiffest part and of course the middle has the bounce in it so that's where you want to land that's where you want to hit when you're taking your bump in the middle there to give that little bit of spring a little bit of shock absorber in the middle of that ring so of course you would have noticed that this ring isn't the actual size of a real professional wrestling ring that is because it's not this is a backyard wrestling ring 14 feet by 14 feet wide it is lower to the ground hence why it doesn't have a beam you can't really fit things under there you can't hide under there like hornswoggle so yeah it's just lower to the ground so it probably doesn't have the same amount of spring as a bigger larger ring wwe i think they use 22 inch 20 i mean 22 feet maybe i don't know but yeah it's a lot smaller which makes the bump a little stiffer i believe I haven't been in too many large wrestling rings but they're all much of the same there's not too big of a difference but i find this carpet underlay although it's not th very thick it does make a huge difference before having this on there we didn't we just had the foam and then the wood it was very stiff to land on stiff to bump on but this carpet underlay has made it done a treat it saved my back saved a lot of pain sleepless nights laying on that because yeah so yeah if you're looking at making your own wrestling buying your own wrestling or just becoming a professional wrestler i hope this video helped you out and showcased what a real wrestling ring is made of well that's what mine's made out of this is bought by monster rings and cages so shout out to them for supplying this well paid for it but uh shout out to them so if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like down below comment some suggestions for more future videos if you thought this is what a real wrestling ring was made out of let me know and until next time it's your boy suplex network signing off peace